Hey guys, Mark here. I am about to take the H501S and the X4 Pro out for a flight. Um, it's March 12th. You know, we got to set the clocks ahead. And look at this weather. We have a winter weather advisory in effect from 10 tonight until Tuesday at 1 o'clock. You know, the winds are 10, 10 mile an hour gusts. But when you get out there, it seems like they're very strong. Um, I just wanted to get a couple flights in before it starts snowing. And it's already March 12th, so uh, I'll see you out there. All right, we made it out here. I have my controller on. The H501S is over there. I wanted to show you the importance of compass calibrations and how the important they really are. The reason I have my controller here and that over there is because when you do, first of all, flat level surface is mandatory. When you first plug in your battery right here, it will say on the controller, you shouldn't even have the controller near here. I'm using this box because I took the X4 Pro out and it, it gives me a flat level surface. So when you plug in the battery, it's initializing the six axis gyro and that's gonna give you your roll, pitch, and yaw readings. And those need to be at zero. It's also calibrating its barometer. It's setting the height distance from the ground. So you need a flat level surface and the, another very important thing any kind of metal, especially cell phones, like the, you know a, a watch, you know a wristband, I mean a, a bracelet, a watch. Take those off. Take your keys out of your pocket. You know you, any cell phones that have signal and all that. Put them at least 10 feet from the quad before you plug this in and do your horizontal and vertical calibrations. If you do that, you should not have issues with toilet bowling unless you know it was a firmware update or something or bad firmware or a bad faulty quad uh, but having no metal around the h501s when you're doing as soon as you plug in the battery there's i mean you shouldn't have a, your car keys put them on somewhere else at least 10 feet 10 15 feet away cell phones watches anything that would interfere with its magnetic compass because a lot of people are having problems uh, with you know toilet bowling and it's mainly caused by compass cows so this is an empty box but it is providing a flat level surface so I'm gonna do my compass cows and once you do a proper compass cow fly it up you know go a couple you know maybe 10 feet high and give it a minute to really think and locate the GPS satellites that it's acquired because it needs a little bit of time to really lock in its 3d position in space so if you do that you shouldn't have any problems okay I did my compass calibrations with no metal around and now I'm just waiting for satellites and we have 11 on the quad 7 9 on the controller the controller is only for following mode and if you're wondering why that kind of fluctuates, it's because the FPV module or the GPS module is right there. It's inside the controller where your hand is. But I'm gonna take it for a flight and uh, see how the compass cows did. All right, so if you did a good compass cow, you can, it shouldn't move more than two to three inches. Uh, I'm going to this is hands-free I'm gonna bring it down a little bit there we go hands-free do a walk around you see that it's really not moving at all it's maintaining its position perfectly so that was a good compass cow it's very, very important, very important to keep
keep metal, all kinds of metal, any type, cell phones, keys, keep it away from the drone when you are doing your self, you know, when it self initializes and the compass calibrations.